Hey, what's up you guys? After Cherry Axion today I'm going to be um talking to you about another story time. Uh so yesterday I thought it would be a great idea to try um you know make some homemade wedges. Um and I have like one of these like little cutting contraption things where it's like a box and you put like a, a blade in and then you just like whatever, right? And I find that I cut myself a lot when I use the peeler, so I was like, you know what? Why don't I just use this, like, cutting contraption to, like, cut away all of the, um, skin from the potato. So I was doing that, everything was going fine. I then put the chip, like, the, the potato down and I cut them into, um, wedges or whatever. And I put them in, um, a bowl. I washed them, I brought them back, and then I noticed one of them had like a little spot on it still, and I was like, all right, I'll just shave that off. I grab it, and without like a second thought, I just go bang, and I completely cut my thumb. Like, it was, it, like, immediately there was blood everywhere. I went into a complete panic. I didn't know what to do. Um, eventually, I managed to, you know, go to the hospital. <laughs> um, I tried to call up my local doctors, n no answer. So I don't know. I just, I, you know, the logical, like, I don't know, my my nail, like my nail right here, for example, um, it completely split right here. So there's like. It's, it, it was, it was a lot. Um, and so yeah, I put some paper towel on it. Went to the hospital. I was waiting there for about 15 minutes before they brought me in and put like a temporary suture thing on my finger, my thumb. Um, and then they asked me if I wanted some, like how, how bad the pain was. And I was like, oh, I mean, when, it, when it's being touched and moved and stuff, it hurts a lot more. Sure, I'd like some meds. And then she was like, okay. Um, if you just speak to the person like, and get your like Medicare details sorted out, um, then you know they'll organize for some meds for you. I'm like, cool, whatever. So I go to the, like, the, the desk or whatever, um, sort out my Medicare de details, uh, and then I was told to go to the other room and sit down and wait and I'm like okay cool um I'm waiting there for like a half an hour and I'm like cool I still haven't gotten any meds and my thumb is kind of going numb and it's hurting quite a lot and so I walk up to the desk and told them that they said that they were going to give me some meds and they were like soon cool whatever whatevs um, and then I'm there for following 45 minutes more, and then I'm finally seen by a doctor. Not even in a cubicle, just down the hallway. He opens up my little suture thingamajig, takes a look at it, says, I'm not going to need stitches. Um, I'll need some antibiotics. And he's asked me if I had any pain relief, and I, I, I mentioned that I was supposed to get some Panadol, and I didn't get anything. Um, so, he was like, oh, I'll just have my, like, because apparently he was a junior doctor or something, I don't know. Um, and he was like, oh, I'll, I'll have my, uh, my boss come take a look. Whatever, sure, whatever. Anyways, I'm sitting down for following maybe 10, 15 more minutes, and then this lady comes out and gives me some... No, no, no. He came out again. It was him. He came out and gave me the meds. He gave me two Panadol and two Nurofen. Which, to be honest with you, I don't think did anything. Because I had a giant headache by this point. Because there were screaming kids all around me. Everywhere. Like, there were people that were going in and out before I even... Like, before... I was... Let me tell you, I was the one that was there the longest. And I can't believe how long it took. Um, I reckon it's just a ploy, because I had to pay for parking for how many hours I was there, and it was... They just try to keep you there as long as possible, so you have to pay for parking. 
I don't know. Look, there was a guy next to me. He was quite old. Um, and he had a hernia. And he was sitting there for, like, nearly two hours. It was... It was not right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I... Look, I'm, I'm not a medical professional. I don't know what goes on. It just... It felt... It felt wrong. I don't know. I... I don't know. Um... Anyways, I'm sitting there for another hour. I think by the time I was done, I was there for about five hours. It... Ugh, man, anyways. Um, yeah, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm literally so restless. Like, I'm, I haven't eaten because this, like, I was cooking chips. The whole plan was to cook some chips. Like, I hadn't eaten. I was starving. I had a headache. I didn't want to be there. Like, I just wanted to leave. I, I wanted to leave so fucking badly. Um, and then this nurse comes out, um, and asks me... Um, if I had any meds, and I'm like, yeah, cool, I did, yes. And then she just basically went back inside, and I'm like, cool. Fifteen minutes later, um, I'm like, this is just, I, I can't, I can't sit here anymore. Like, I'm, I'm feeling really agitated, and I just, like, I walk up to the desk, and I explain that I've been here for, like, four hours at this point, and she goes, yeah, three hours and 45 minutes is a long time, and I'm like, No, I've been here for longer than that. But whatever. Like, look, I was nice to the to the lady. I don't like. I not her fault. Whatever. I was nice to her. I didn't like that she was like, "Oh, you've been here for this precise amount of time." I'm telling you, I was there for a fucking long time. Anyways, um. Anyways, um, I mentioned that I was really hungry, and then she was like, "Oh." I'll speak to the doctor and maybe we'll get you some sandwiches. And I'm like, I don't want sandwiches. I just want to go home. Like, I, I, I got shit to do. Anyways. Um, eventually. I don't even know how long after. Eventually. The doctor brought me in and said that I'm not going to need antibiotics. Uh, he's just going to put a little bit of tape on my, on my thumb. Like four bits of tape to kind of keep it together, I guess. Um, and, oh, that's right, and a tetanus shot as well. Um, because I don't remember the last time I I got a tetanus shot. Um, if I've ever gotten one. Really, I have no idea. So, yeah, they were giving me a tetanus shot, and then they were just going to send me on my way with, like, just a little bit of tape around my nail. My nail that was split open, and I'm like, um, I, like, type for a living, like, I... Like, this is just going to get caught on things. Can you do anything? I was nicer about it than that. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't, actually, because I was really, like, tired, out of it. Like, I was so done. I like to think I was nice about it. Um, And then, so, he wraps up my finger like this. uh, Which, by the way, is just tucked in. It can come undone. Um, um, He was a nice doctor. Let's be honest. He was nice, but... Uh, it was just, like, a frustrating experience overall, um, because I was in and out within, like, five minutes. My shot, it really, my arm is so sore today, though, (laughs) from, like, just the tetanus shot. They actually, they didn't even, like, when they gave me the shot, they just, like, left it. Like, it was still bleeding. Like, they didn't even cover it up with a tissue or anything. Look, I am not gonna lie. I'm really frustrated because I don't like going to the doctors in general. And I don't think, to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever had, like, an emergency where I went to the hospital. Um, but I went anyways and it was not a good experience. Like... I could tell that there were people there that needed to be seen immediately, and they just didn't get seen immediately. And it just felt really wrong. Again, I'm not a medical professional. I don't know how things work, or, like, on a scale of, like, 1 to 10, how badly someone needs to be seen. But, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like for something as little as what I had to get done, 
I could have been in there and out immediately. Like, some of these people who can just get in and out quickly, and I don't really understand why it was taking so long. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ungrateful and shouldn't have caught myself. I shouldn't have, really. Um, I did end up making my chips today, and they were okay. I followed a recipe online, and I'm like, well, my chips don't look like that. <laughs> um, they were okay. But, yeah, so, this is me. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and the worst part is, the wor absolute fucking worst part is, when my mum was uh, around about my age, she caught, I think it's this finger, like, she, like, she lost her nail on it and everything, like, and, you know, it was bound to happen, apparently it's just in my genetics. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, um, that was my day yesterday. Um, uh, when I got home, I was just exhausted. I was a fucking crybaby, Sook. I legit, oh, I was just crying every five minutes because... I'm a drama queen, and I am a baby, and it really hurt, okay? It really, really hurt. It, like, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but it's like, and I'm not going to, because some people find that morbid, I don't like seeing that stuff. Um, yeah, so it was like, so, the cut was like, here, and then here, but apparently it wasn't deep through, so it didn't need stitches. I don't know. I don't really understand how it's not deep through, considering the um, the blade was like this, and I went like this on it. So I don't really understand how it got both sides, but not the middle. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was just so out of it when I got home that like I kind of just went to bed. I guess I was just exhausted from all the emotion, or... I don't know, man, it was... Have... How about you guys? Um, how about you guys tell me your stories about being in the ER room? Like, do you guys have any bad stories? I don't know. You know what? Like, it could have been worse. I could have chopped off my entire thumb and then had to reconnect it. That would be bad. But it still really hurts, I'm not gonna lie, and I don't really know how I'm supposed to, like, shower. Like, I have to shower, okay? I'm not, I'm not a filthy bitch, okay? <laughs> now this is just going into, like, a mess of a, a video. Like, I, <laughs> I, like, I know I, like, I just don't really know how I'm supposed to... <laughs> Um, so that's going to be interesting to work out later on. Um, luckily I had a shower yesterday, so I'm good to go for today. Um, but yeah, like what do you do? Like this, this really hurts and I don't know what to do. You guys got any, uh, tips and tricks? I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next one.